Hey, welcome to Bio in the Bathtub, I'm Mr. Oko. Uh, today we're going to very briefly uh, do a five minute overview of genotype, phenotype, and how we can solve that using a Pundit Square. Uh, so just a quick little recap on what a genotype is. Basically, in a short version, a uh, genotype is two sets of gene alleles that have a dominant or recessive trait. Uh, so for example, if I put a genotype such as BB, uh, we call this homozygous dominant because both of these traits have a dominant gene. Now the gene is usually represented by a capital letter. They're dominant, they're larger. Uh, well, another genotype that's similar to it is called homozygous recessive. That's where we see two of the same, but this time they're lowercase letters. Now my B's aren't great, so I'll do a better version. Now in the middle, where we have one dominant trait and one recessive, we have something called heterozygous. So we have homozygous dominant, homozygous recessive, and heterozygous. Okay? Now we're not going to get into all the differences that will come with later videos. But genotypes tend to look like this when we're dealing with basic Mendelian genetics. Uh, but what the phenotype represents is what does these B stand for? What does B represent as the dominant trait? So I'm going to just use example of now. Let's go. Let's go eye color. Uh, I know it's more complex than that, but we're use it as an example. I know. Let's use baldness. Okay, we'll go baldness. Okay. So if we have B, which is our dominant trait, that's going to be dominant for. Okay, for no baldness. If we have a lowercase b, that is the recessive trait, or sorry, allele for baldness. Now, how this works is if we have uh, so what we're what we're kind of focusing on specifically is complete dominance. Now, there are three other ones we'll get into. Uh, incomplete dominance and co-dominance later on in later videos, but for right now we're talking about complete dominance. So what complete dominance is, is any time this dominant trait is present in the genotype, this trait takes over. Okay? Uh, and that's what we represent as a phenotype. Now a phenotype is our physical look. What does it look like? So genotype B, if we have two dominant traits, we have both means we have no baldness, we have a heterozygous mix here, but we still have that dominant trait, which means we have no baldness because we're dealing with complete dominance. Okay? But the homozygous recessive, where we have two recessive genes, results in baldness because there is no dominant trait to take over. So as a result, that's what we'll end up seeing. Is one. Okay, and there's the very basics of what the difference between a genotype and a phenotype is. Genotype deals with the genes specifically, and then the alleles of that genes. So dominant, recessive, or homozygous recessive. And the phenotype is what does the physical characteristic look like? Because we have two dominants, we end up with baldness. Because we have heterozygous, we still end up with no baldness because we have a dominant allele still taking over, and we do end up with baldness when we have homozygous recessive because we have no dominant traits that are available to us. Okay? So, as a quick overview of what a genotype versus a phenotype is, in the next video we're going to look at the Punnett square right here, and we're going to compare when we mix two of these traits, what happens. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this short video, which is 4 minutes and 30 seconds instead of 5, uh, but I'll see you on the next video looking at the Punnett Square. Have a great day!